All right, what's up, guys? So we have a pretty interesting tier list. Uh, I, I'm really into the tier list right now, so we'll probably see a decent amount of those. But uh, this one I'm hoping to keep a relatively reasonable time length because my wife and I are going to the movies soon. We're going to see Avatar 2, so hopefully it's good. But that gave me this idea uh, based on the show that I was watching last night too, to merge these two together and say out of, this is what this list, uh, deems the main characters on the office, who would be the best to go to the movies with? <laughs> um, so we have would better the experience. So they would actively make it better. Uh, it'd be enjoyable. Their company would be fine. That's almost like no change. Uh, they would distract or take away from the experience, and then I just wouldn't do it or I wouldn't go. So let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Hopefully I remember all the characters' names. Okay, uh, we'll start at the bottom here. We have Roy uh, Anderson, I think. Um, he starts out as kind of like a character that you're supposed to think is like a jerk and stuff, and he, he kind of is. But in the later seasons of The Office, he just like... I, th I feel like he becomes just more a normal guy, and he just uh, wasn't matched with the right person. Um, I'm going to say it would could take away from the experience, though. Uh, he is kind of a jerk, and he kind of makes a scene, so I feel like if something went wrong, let's say you're going to get popcorn or something, and they gave him the, you know, they forgot a buck giving him his change back or something, he would start an argument, and that would take away from it. Uh, the next one we have is Gabe. Two back-to-back -back that aren't great. He's kind of a weird, annoying character. Um, this one's hard because the main thing that pops into my head is that he would take away from someone else's experience because he's so tall. Um, but, like, for me personally, I think it'd be fine. He's really into certain films and stuff. I don't know. Depends what we're seeing. He could nerd out. Uh, we have Holly... Um, she seems fun most of the time. Uh, I, I have a similar feeling that her and Michael are going to be pretty similar, which is fitting. Um, I would say she would make some, like, silly jokes here and there. She would just have a little bit more restraint about things than, uh, Michael. I would say she would better the experience. She seems fun. Um, a couple of these are kind of cropped out, but I believe this is, uh, Pete from Season 9. Uh, like new gym basically um, seems like a fine person um, be enjoyable seems like a good dude nothing really better or worse there uh, Andy's a hard one because he could fluctuate kind of all over the place um, he's kind of goofy he has some good characteristics but I feel almost similar to Roy like if something doesn't go his way uh, he might cause a scene, but it's almost more like he's throwing a tantrum than uh, picking a fight. Um, I'm going to say it'd be fine, though. He seems like just a little bit more fun than Roy. Daryl is similar to Pete in this, I think, where he just seems like a regular kind of chill dude. Um, I think it'd be enjoyable. He seems like he knows uh, his snacks and maybe how to sneak some movie theater like candy in and stuff like that. Uh, I believe the next one is Clark from Season 9, new Dwight. Um, he's not as, like, arrogant as Dwight, but I think he's also known to be a little bit creepy, especially with, like, Aaron, if I remember right. Um, but I don't know that he would take away from the experience. I think he'd, he'd be fine to go with if it was just you as a dude. He seems a little bit like a creeper, though. Um, I don't know if I could do Nelly. Like, her voice, her attitude... Mm -mm, not for me. I believe that's Nelly. I'm cropped picture, but we'll see. All right, this is the big one already. Uh, Michael. I'm struggling between the top two. I'll, I'll say I'll put him right here while I talk. Um, he would. He seems like a very fun person, and under the right circumstances, it could be a blast. Um, but almost kind of like Andy could like throw a tantrum if something doesn't go right um i think the fact that you're just hanging out with him though he would be ecstatic so i'm gonna leave him here that he'd be he'd better the experience uh creed <laughs> i 
could really go anywhere. Uh, I'll say for the sake of realism, I would not go with Creed because he's probably going to kill somebody. <laughs> um, but, you know, he could make the best one-liner, too, there, and he could be cracking up. So we'll say for the sake of realism, wouldn't go, but it could be fun. Um, Oscar, I'm going to put in would just be fine because... While he seems like a good guy and everything, and he seems chill, uh, he seems like a little bit more of a stickler for the rules and stuff. So if you were trying to, I don't know, uh, you had a pop that you're trying to stick in like your your purse or your jacket or something like that, he would feel. I feel like he'd tell on you. Um, other than that, he'd be fine. Uh, but no shenanigans are to be had there. Angela's pretty similar. Um, I'd say she would take away from the experience though. She would probably complain a lot, especially if it wasn't like her choice in movie, which I think would drastically differ from mine, who I like sci-fi and comedy and stuff. Uh, and she'd probably complain about not being able to see like over the seats the whole time. Uh, we have Ryan, who has one of the most like roller coaster rides of uh, character arc throughout the nine seasons. Um, I'm going to go with like our first. Um, introduction to Ryan as just like the temp more than like late season Ryan and say he would be fine to go with he seems chill this seems like something you'd be into just a regular uh, day out with the boys or something like that now later on when he's like maybe a druggie or something like that maybe not so much maybe you would drop down uh, Creed um, <laughs> Creed's like gonna go here and let me explain myself um, this is not in an office setting where the HR rep would take away or anything. I really get a lot of kicks from his, like, dry humor that he tries to dish out on t at times. And it's the stuff that doesn't click with the other characters in the show. But in, like, a realistic setting, I think it would click with me. Um, I could see him nerding out about some of the same stuff that we nerd out about. Um, yeah, I think it'd be all right. Worst case scenario, I'd bump down one. I think Kelly would take away from the experience for me. Uh, any drama, any... I, I think the, the most likely scenario is she gets going about some drama with Ryan. And it takes her talking through the movie several times. especially, And I feel like she'd take away at just the, the right moments, too. She would time it. I think Stanley would be top tier easy. Would better the experience. He'd be sneaking in all kind of drinks and snacks and probably pret all those the warm hot pretzels too Ooh. he would be all over this he would be a seasoned veteran in terms of uh like what's the optimal seating the best movie theater in the area the best snacks um like what time frame of movie to go with the best audience i feel like he would be at the top tier here uh aaron uh, i think she'd be fun she seems like a fun character most of the time as long as there's not someone actively like drawing her away from that uh like andy being weird dwight being weird gabe being weird those kind of take away but and like i'm go i've been going with most of the time here kind of a realism standpoint seems fun um i feel like she could be into this especially like the comedy movies um kevin would be right up there with stanley i think he would be just a little bit below Stanley, still in this tier, but maybe not the top. Um, he has some odor issues, I know, so that could detract from it, but everything else that I said with Stanley that brought him up here, I think, would be uh, very similar. Um, maybe for that one issue, I should bump him down here. Uh, I'm not going to really order too much within the tiers themselves. I'll leave that to you guys in the comments to, to argue about who goes where and now that we're at the top five, I'll take a reminder to say if you, if you like what we're doing so far, hit the like button. Uh, definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And feel free to leave in the comments who you'd put where. Or if there's any big uh, differences you'd have, let me know. Um, Pam, it says very similar to Aaron here. Uh, I like her practical jokes. She seems like she has fun. As long as there's not someone that's really bringing her down, like Roy or maybe late season Jim. Um, I don't want Brian anywhere near this. Uh, she seems fun. <laughs> Dwight, I think, would take away from the experience. Like, there's... He's another one that could go a lot of different places here. But... 
um, he'd just be annoyed by something. Something would go wrong, he would uh, feel like he's helping by fixing the film, and you'd look up and he'd be in the little projector room for really no reason. The, the trailers are taking too long or something like that. I um, feel like he'd whip out some, like, grade A, like, jerky or something like mid-movie that would heighten it a little bit. Uh, but then he would stop the film when they get a fact about beats or bears wrong or something like that. Robert California, um, almost want to put him similar to Creed, but I don't think he's that far down. This really distresses how annoyed I am by Nelly. Um, Robert California is kind of funny to me, and his, like, existentialism about, uh, his divorce when he has, like, the pool party and stuff, I kind of get that comedy at times. But he seems like just a super weird dude most of the time, so I'll leave him down here. Um, Meredith, eh, I think she'd be fine. I don't really have a lot to add here. She seems like she's up for a good time. There's a little risk of her sneaking in a lot of alcohol or something like that and getting us kicked out, so I'll leave her here. And then one of the funner characters in the show, or more fun, I should say, um, Jim. He's another one kind of like Gabe. Like he might, He's a tall dude. He might uh, take away from the other uh, people's experiences, but he's kind enough, maybe unlike Gabe, where I think we would account for that. Uh, I'll put him in this. He, he'd be enjoyable to go with. Right next to Pam. That, that works out nicely. Alright, so again, if you liked this, feel free to leave a like. Let me know if you uh, have any major changes in the comments. Um, again, uh, trying to keep uh, more videos coming, so if you have any ideas, if, if you liked this random stuff, I have a lot of those up here. Other than that, um, I'll see you guys. Peace.